peace and love. How are all my beautiful children all around the world? And especially in Tobago, it's Auntie Oni. And I want to say hi to all my grandchildren. We have nine grandchildren. And I want to send them my peace and love too. Because now that we're in COVID and their Nana has to stay in the Zoom box, I don't get to see them as much as I would love to. I'm going to name off all of Auntie Oni's grandchildren. And I want to see if you can count them with me. Okay? All right, let's go. It's Basil, Bria, Nafis, Amina, Kai, Indy, Levi, Miles, and Tyler. Nine grandchildren. Wow. And I love them all. I also want to say hi to my grandnieces and nephew, Josiah and Gianna that live in Memphis, Tennessee. Also, Jacob and Lexi that live in Florida. Hi, I miss you all and I love you all so very much. Well, today I came on the Zoom and I put this up on my YouTube channel because I wanted to share with children all around the world a song I wrote. It's about Aesop. Now, some of you might be familiar with Aesop. You might know about him. He wrote stories like The Boy Who Cried Wolf, and he didn't write them. He knew them. He kept them right up here in his head. He told stories in the griot tradition, when you just know how to tell stories without writing them down. He was an African and he was enslaved on an island called Greece. And he was very wise. And he wrote The Boy Who Cried Wolf. He wrote, why do I keep saying he wrote? He didn't write, people wrote. Other people wrote his stories. They copied his stories and they put them in books. See these books here? Oops, 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 oops. Let me see, can you see them? <laughs> see the books? Okay. He, he wrote them in books. People wrote his stories down from over 2,000 years ago. And we storytellers, we still like telling Aesop fables. Whatever chance we get. We even have some storytellers that call themselves Aesop, like Baba Jamal Karam, Dylan Pritchard. And we all love telling his stories, most storytellers around the world. So if you want to learn about Aesop fables, you can ask your teacher in school, or you can go to the library, or you can look him up, or you can Google Aesop. He's spelt with the A, A-E-S-O-P, but it's pronounced Aesop, fables. So this song I wrote is going to tell you a little bit about him. You want to hear it? Here it goes. Thank you, Reggae Randy, for the music. Visit Reggae Randy's YouTube channel and dance, dance, dance. Hey, 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 Aesop is here to stay. Hey, 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 Aesop is here to stay. About 3,000 years ago, Aesop was the man to know. Aesop was an African, a famous storyteller in all the land. He told stories happy and sad. Stories was all he had. Aesop fables had morals at the end on how to be a good, good friend. And the stories that he told always had a lot of soul. Stories that he told never, ever, ever grow old. I said, hey. Aesop is here to stay. Hey, hey, hey. Aesop is here to stay. Aesop was a wise teacher about the things he taught. In his stories, did you know the animals could talk? How pride goes up before a fall. 
making friends, big or small, slow and steady wins the match. And don't you count your chickens before they hatch. And the stories that he told always had a lot of soul. Stories that he told never, ever, ever grew old. I said, hey, hey, hey. Aesop is here to stay. Hey, hey, hey. Aesop is here to stay. About the thousand years ago, Aesop was a man to know. Aesop was an African. He was a famous storyteller in all the land. He told stories happy and sad. Stories was all he had. See, Aesop fables had morals at the end on how to be a good, good friend. And the stories that he told. Mm. Always had a lot of soul stories that he told. Mm. Never, ever, ever grow old. Aesop was a wise teacher about the things he taught. In his fables, did you know the animals could talk? How pride goes up before a fall, making friends big or small. Slow and steady wins the match. And don't you count your chickens before they hatch. And the stories that he told always had a lot of soul. Stories that he told never, ever, ever grow old. Hey, I love that, don't you? So I want you to ask your teacher, ask your mom to Google some Aesop fables. You can see movies about Aesop fables on YouTube. You can see books and read books about Aesop fables at your library. Aesop fables, mm, you're gonna enjoy them so much. So subscribe to my channel, okay? Tell your parents to subscribe to Auntie Oni's channel. And that way you'll know the next time I come and the next time I post a video is gonna be just for you. Yeah, cause you sure look good to your Aunt Oni. And I want you to come here and when you subscribe, you'll be able to know when's the next time I put up a story for you. And I'm going to include an Aesop fable. All right. So like my video and subscribe. And I'll see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Well, I like to say honey child too. <laughs> Y'all have to know I'm getting used to this, okay? <laughs> Auntie Oni is not an actress. I'm a real person.